Hello, it's Afro DJ Mac here, and I want to show you how to use Ableton Live's chain selectors so that you can have different synths on one instrument track and cycle between them. So, first thing you want to do is make sure you got your chains open. And on this one, I have three different synths, all made from my Mega Brute collection. And I have the chain selected. And what this is here is a little selector that moves like this. This can be MIDI mapped, so I'm going to right click that and map it to Macro 1. Now when I move this, I'm moving the um, chain selector. Now the way you map different instruments across your chain selector is simply pulling them around to the degree you'd like them. And you just heard we lost one of our synths as I moved that, and we lost the other one as I moved this. So now, when I go across my chain selector, I'm on my Mwaha plug. Now I move to the dancing bit sound. And now, I've got the brute pluck. Something you can do is you can mouse over more than one. You can create fades like this. So now you're getting a little bit of each. Sometimes they're a little tricky to grab, but if you grab right near the top, you'll get it. And now you can have sort of um, these little fades. So you're hearing a little bit of both there. So I move the selector, just the dancing bits. Then we get that brute pluck mixed in. And same thing over here. So this is a really cool way to just uh, create some variation in your synth sounds. And um, again, uh, instrument racks are super powerful, and this is one of the reasons why. So I hope this helps. Enjoy.